One of the major plots of the Antichrist in the end times is to take down the body of Christ from within. And that's why we are seeing so much division within the church today. You see comments like my church versus your church. Notice how once upon a time when they disagreed, they were still polite about it, but how today they are mimicking the world and fighting like the world. This is the rebellious spirit of Antichrist among us. We forget that the mercy we give is the mercy we receive. Somehow hiding behind the keyboard and the screen makes you feel very emboldened. One group of prophets fighting another group, belittling another ministry as illegitimate, seeking to rule as the only sole authority. We must remember that there is no single group that has the only monopoly over God's word. That is not how kingdom works. Just because their interpretation does not match your expectation, don't allow yourself to be carried by the winds of these end times. The enemy is busy trying to create civil wars out there. Will you allow the same in the body of Christ? The body of Christ was once torn apart on the cross. It does not need another rebellion. But instead the prayer of Jesus is that they may be one like we are one. Can you have the patience and the humility to embrace that brother and sister that doesn't sound like you? For Jesus said, they will know that we are Christians by our love. It's only insecurity and stale oil that fights the fresh oil. Refuse to be a laughing stock to the world. When you judge in the name of love, we also forget that we are aligning ourselves for greater judgment from God. Notice, none of these divisions move God. He who sits upon the throne is not moved. Jesus said, a divided kingdom cannot stand. And Jesus said that I have come to cast fire upon the earth because there's something about the message of Jesus that towards the end time you will see a severe division. And he said that in the Gospel of Luke chapter 12 where in a family of five, three will be against two and two will be against three. So what we are seeing today is to be expected. But the question is, will you fall for the trap? Because this fire will truly test and prepare the real ones for the final trumpet. So during these end times, Satan is trying to recruit you as his weapon. I hope you will hear this as a reminder not to jump up on the Christian bandwagon of the lynch mobs. As we read and gossip and consume bad news, we partake of the dark clouds that they carry. Refuse it and let love lead. Share this with someone you care.